What is up, Spin Fam? Got Derek here at Everything Spinners. Got some M&Ms. Got some bearings. Got a vape. Got, oh boy, what is this? We better move that. That's bad. That is a no-no. And then, got the vape. Got a phone case, because the phone doesn't fit in my studio otherwise. And then, we got the, what this video is about. We're talking vinegar. How to remove patina. I hear discussions about patina all the time, right? Now, this isn't too patinaed because I live in the desert. We don't get a lot of patina here. But we're going to remove the patina and show you how Derek does it at Everything Spinners. Let's see. Oh, that spin. Oh, we got that bearing locked in there. Got the bobble, copper bobble, thanks to Randy. Sold me that, traded for a copper stubby, which I have an ISO out for. If you have a copper stubby, hit me up. I need one. I've traded two of them. I had one, I traded one for the bobble and another for this. This is a great trade, but damn, I want my stubby back. Anyway, I'm kind of broke now. Maybe we could trade something, I don't know. Anyway, so here, instead of a $70 tool, you know, I love Tom and all. I don't know if I love him, but I respect the guy. I love the atrium. But this is a $15 tool. I get it. It's not a top. Okay, whatever. $70 seems like a lot of money for a tool. What can I tell you? Okay, so now uh, we got that bearing out, right? Josh prints these. 3D prints. That's phonetic. He's always working on some other crazy design, but I like this one. Upgraded with a grade 8 bolt and nut because I had, uh, what do you call it, like sheared off the threads because I had a bearing in there so tight once. So I had to replace with a grade 8 bolt. If you don't know what grade 8 means, it means really strong. Anyway, we're not talking bearings. So what do I do to clean, uh, get to remove patina? I pour vinegar. Imagine this, the cap comes off. Fill some in there, right? Boop. Pop that in there. I put a lid on. Probably don't have to put a lid on. No, I let it soak. Maybe, I mean, the longer you soak, the better. Like 10 minutes works. Uh, to me, like if you go an hour, you're getting down to the metal. So, we're going to let it soak and we'll come back and we're going to edit that in. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back, guys. But here's another edit real quick. This video is inspired by the Weekly Spin. And Josh, the, this guy right down here, he had just said, hey, make a video. They're talking about why people don't make more videos. He said, hey, if you're going to polish your spinner, make a video how you polish it. He literally just said that. So that's what I'm doing. Anyway, we'll be back. Well, all right, so we're back. It's been about 15 minutes only. So, oh, hold on. What I do is uh, I get it out carefully. I use a little pliers and get it out in the bearing hole. But if you don't mind touching vinegar, get it out. Look at that, it's already shinier. Dry it off. This is a microfiber towel, not the cleanest, but um, no matter what, you're going to get your micro scratches if it's polished. What can I tell you? But this works on patina. This works on any kind. So then to get your extra shine, what I do is I have a microfiber towel and it's kind of infused just because I use it a lot with the mother's polish, mag and aluminum polish. There's no shine like mom's. Anyway, so you can see how it's kind of got the white in there. So I don't really put any more on there usually. And just rub it down everywhere. Don't hit your camera. Yeah, let's put the cover on the vinegar in case we hit that. That would stink. But you rub it down. And what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, I'm not a patina guy. The discussion is always, you know, patina, brass, stainless, copper, blah, blah, blah. Um, but you do this, it's like gives you something to do. To me, I'm always like, you know, I love to mess with my spinners because I love my spinners. 
Look at how beautiful that looks, right? Um, so you do this every once in a while and your spinners look like new. I mean, that looks great to me. Shiny, ooh. Like a diamond in a goat's ass. Hey. Name that show, the guy who says that. Get you some of that. Ooh, that's a shiny bobble now. And look at the buttons. See, we didn't do the buttons. I'd say they're a little duller. I don't get a lot of patina where I live. Is that a big nasty scratch? No. Nope. Eh, a little something. No, it's okay. Anyway, thanks to Josh. I made that video. Uh, once again, Derek, everything spinners, au quad tans and wall. Peace out. Go shine up your copper spinners, would you? Look at all the micro scratches. But like I say, it works great with uh, whatever finish you got. Your brushed, your bob, you know, whatever you got. It works. Your brushed, your blasted, your tumbled, your polished. Okay? And whatever else you can think of. Alright guys, have a good day.